Welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad to see you all here today. Um, today we're going to learn how to do a soccer player. Now, first, because because this can be used for two different types of events. You could do just like a regular soccer player, or you can adjust it and create a Fortnite character. It's kind of like a two-in-one design. So I'm going to show you how to do those. And while I do that, when I switch it over to the Fortnite character, I'm also going to show you how to do two different faces. So you have lots of variety to change it up for this one. Now, I was thinking I could, I was going to do a red one. I don't really know anything about soccer, but I think red is sort of a universal sport. So we're going to start with two pinch cards. This is going to be the jersey. So two pinch twists at the top. This is where we're going to connect the head. And I'm going to come, oh, I have just over four fingers, so at five or six at the end here. We're going to come down about eight fingers. And we're going to go right back up to those two pinch twists. And back down. We're going to come right back up to that four. So then we should have two and two, so four bubbles in total, and our two pinch twists, all with that one balloon. Now we're going to do the pants. Now we want to make sure that this is nice, the pant, the, or I guess the shorts and the long socks, all in one balloon. <laughs> That way it's a lot easier. But we're going to make sure that it's nice and soft. This Because we're going to have to later make a twist in this. And that will make it a lot easier. So just squeeze it. Make sure it's soft. And then pull it out. I have, again, about six fingers at the end here. Now we're going to take the white. And we're going to push it through the center here. And come out the other side. So there's two. It's going through the two here, and it's coming in through the other two. And for this side, we want to make sure there's at least eight fingers. Probably a good ten there. We're going to double check our fingers. So we oh, we got about twelve. That's good too. Double check it's nice and soft. Then we're going to bring this side here all the way down and connect these two. Again, making sure the second side is up. I'm just going to pull this knot through the center of the legs, that way it stays in place. I'm going to remove this, but I'm not going to let it go because I still need the rest of this. Part. So I'm going to squish it. Just in case you need to know how I do this, I sort of figure out a nice good area, make sure there's a puff of air in there, push my thumb in, and pull it away and just catch it with the rest of my hand. That is how I rip a balloon. <laughs> okay, I'm just tying off these legs so they don't go anywhere. And now I'm going to tie off the rest of this. Okay. So I have squished all of the air so it fills the whole balloon here. And it's nice and soft. Nice and soft is like the name of the soccer one. I'm just doing a pinch twist here. Now, if you, I know most of you have done pinch twists, but just in case some of you have in, there is a trick here. So when you're doing a pinch twist, you twist it together like this. You take the side that's knotted and push that through that little hole there. Your pinch twist will stay. So I know some of you are newer, and that trick may be very helpful. <laughs> so we're going to take this, figure out sort of where the center is by just holding it in half, and it will give you an idea. I'm going to put the center at the front of the balloon, and just wrap it around all the way to the back. And I'm going to figure out a bubble about the same size as that pinch twist. Twist that off and then I'm just going to twist these together. And then I'm 
going to take one of the bubbles, so I'm going to pinch twist through the bubble, and just pull that in and down through the back. In and down through that hole there, and then that way it's locked in and it's not going to go anywhere. This is the start of our soccer player. I'm going to give him, he wears a t-shirt, so we're just going to do the, his sleeves here. So we're going to start with two pinch twists. I really like, do, like doing a lot of pinch twists because it sort of holds everything together and then you can connect other things to it really, really easily. And then a four finger bubble and then we're going to, four finger bubble? Yeah, four. You know what? I lied. Do a six finger bubble. <laughs> no, four finger bubble. Whew, sorry. You want a four finger bubble? <laughs> And then wrap that into the two pinches at the top. And then we're going to bring it back down into those two pinches on the side here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it through the side of his chest and it's going to come out the other side. I want those two bubbles to be sort of both facing up towards the sky. And then we're just going to pull that all the way through and that will hold this piece in place. Now we're going to come out just a tiny bit here and we're going to do two pinch twists. And then we're going to do another four finger bubble. So we, have our, so we came out just a tiny bit, we did our two pinch twists and then a four finger bubble. And then we're going to just grab that into the top pinch twist again, where we're going to connect the head. We're going to come down another four finger bubble and wrap those into the two pinch twists at the, for lack of a better name, we're going to call it the elbow. And then we can get rid of the rest of it. sleeves. We did two pinch twists, a four finger bubble, a four finger bubble down, and then we pulled it through. So there was just a little bit that you could see on either side. And we did two more pinch twists, a four finger bubble back up to the those neck bubbles, and then a four finger bubble down back to those pinch twists, and then we got rid of the rest. Just a small recap so you remember what we did. And now for this soccer player, I was thinking I could do a mocha skin one because I really like the color mocha. <laughs> We're going to start with two pinch twists. This is going to be for his hand. We're going to do about three finger flower petals. And then a three finger bubble. So we did two pinch twists, a three finger flower petal, attach that, and then a three finger bubble. Now we're going to wrap that into his elbow pinch twist. Then we can, we're going to remove this and then we're going to use it on the other side. Because I'm lazy, I'm not going to tie this off. I'm just going to twist this right into those two pinch twists. I don't know if it's lazy or more efficient. Either way, the word works. <laughs> and it applies to me. So we got that twisted in. And then we're just going to do everything we did on this hand, but backwards. So three finger bubble. Three finger flower petal. And then two pinch twists. And then you can get rid of the rest of it. So just to recap, we have three finger bubble, two pinch twists, and a three finger flower bubble. Our soccer player is coming along. Now I'm going to do go about four fingers up on the leg and do a twist here. And then about four fingers up on the other leg and do another twist. Oh! Make sure the 
roughly about the same size. We're going to get a 350 mocha this time. We're going to start with a pinch twist. And then a bit of a smaller pinch twist. So you can see how different the bubbles are there. And then we're going to wrap these into one of those twists that we made. So I'm going to cut one on either side, wrap it around each other, and then we want to make sure that the big bubble is in the front with the smooth side of the belt. And we're going to do a very tiny bubble again, so a super stretchy tiny bubble there. And then we're going to do another big pinch twist, and then a small pinch twist. So we should have a very tiny bubble there, and then a big pinch twist, and a small pinch twist, and then we're going to wrap that into the other side. And again, making sure that the big one is in the front and the small one is in the back. We can get rid of the rest of this. And what I like to do, just for good measure, in case that middle bubble pops, is I like to take it and wrap it around the two meat and just pull everything together. And then that sort of gives the illusion that he's got shorts, knees, socks. we can get him shoes. So my standard typical shoes is two pinch twists. Oh. I'm using a black 250 for this one and just my standard four fingers at the end. Pretty sure all yeah all my 250s here have four fingers about four fingers at the end. So we got our two pinch twists. Just gonna push one through legs. Wrap those together so it's nice and tight. And then we're going to do, we're going to be doing about a four or five finger flower petal. For one, two, and then we're going to do the other one. And we're at the same side, so it's four or five fingers. Then we can get rid of the rest of this. Then we have the body. That's it. Super easy. Now for the face. So this face is going to be our first design and then a very traditional balloon face um, that I'm sure you've seen everywhere. And then we're going to do one that's more my style. So I'm going to show you two different faces today. So we're going to start with a pinch twist. So just grab whatever skin color you were using and then um, I have a 350 here. And then we're going to do a pinch twist and then I have about a three finger bubble. We're going to do another pinch twist. And then we're going to do a six finger bubble. And then another pinch twist. And then we're going to come back on that six finger bubble and back again. But this time I'm a little too big. So, oh! So get rid of that and then just adjust it to size. You will need a second 350 if you're doing 350s. So I started back on the air where we left off. I'm coming back over to the back, and I'm trying to make these a lot skinnier. I've 
let, like I pushed the air out of it and made it nice and soft and it's made this much skinnier than these first ones. And that is an important step for the next part. So I want you to go back and find the two that are at your front. They're both the big ones. You're going to open it a bit. Okay, actually, first do your three finger bubble. Do a three finger bubble on your balloon here. And then you're going to open this a bit and twist that three finger bubble into your pinch twist that you created earlier. Now the reason you want this open a bit is because you want those two three finger bubbles to fall in nicely in between these two bigger ones. Also, oh this one's going to be tough. one of those sides of the big side and you're going to pull the rest of the balloon through. This is really tight. Okay, if your balloon is too big to do that, you can do it usually, but rip it off. But in some cases, your balloon is just being stubborn. So if it's being stubborn, rip it off, tie it off, and then you want to let the air out so that there's about, about four fingers left of air. And then we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to take the part that we want to be the mouth. Go underneath it, so just underneath it, back up through to the front of the face and just wrap that around the neck. Seriously, if you're having problems, that is a great alternative to do. Okay, so now I have I just pushed a little bit of the air up and through there so the neck isn't so big and it gives it sort of a sturdier feel. Uh, I've twisted it off at the bottom and that is just to help me twist it into the two inches. Okay, and then we have a head on there. I'm going to use uh, chocolate brown. Just put some hair here. So just wrap that around one of the ears. Now the reason we did this, this um, bubble so small, is that way that the hair fits nicer on the top. It doesn't sort of overtake everything, and it doesn't sort of undershadow anything either. So at this point you're just going back and forth and back and forth until you get a look that you like. That's it. Just back and forth, back and forth until you've got a full head of hair. You can see them from the front here. So if you saved the other half of your shoes, good for you, I totally forgot, but I want to use them for the eyes. So you can do this for the eyes or you can draw the eyes on. I'm going to show you how to do this.
hope that that's going to stay. I, you can do two pinches. Again, a big one and then a small one. So, big one, small one. Then take the small one. It doesn't go anywhere, and then you have two eyes. So, this is a totally acceptable look, and then you just need to draw the neck. Now, however, so I'm going to all these different details about different face options, aren't I, today? However, you can also just draw on the eyes up here. And then you just need your white marker to fill everything in. Now, I know there's writing on the front, but I don't really know what is happening on the software shirt, so I'm just going to do that. And then, I don't know, pick a random number. That's it. This is, hold on, this is type 1 soccer player. Now, if you would like to turn that into a Fortnite player, so type one, we're going to go back here. So this is exactly what we did before. The entire um, body, I changed the skin tone, but everything is identical to what I just taught you minus the head. Oh, I did not blow up any hair though. So you will have to bear with me through the blowing up. I'm using a 12 inch quickly, but I'm not blowing it up very big. I just want that nice round look and a bit bigger than a 6 inch. <clears throat> so this is about as tall as my hand, so I don't know what that is. As tall as your hand, maybe? <laughs> oh, give me a second. And this is going to be a girl, so we're going to give her a bit. Oh. I'm going to try it for. I'm using the chocolate brown again. This is actually what the girl, the soccer player girl in Fortnite uses. She's got a bit of chocolate brown here. So we have about eight fingers, and then we're gonna do a pinch foot. And then we're gonna do the back first. So we're gonna do about seven fingers. And then two pin strips. And then we're going to come down to the back, all the way to the back, to the bottom pin strip. And then, just because of those pin strips, we're not able to go all the way down, so we're going to do another bubble about the same size as the first one, the eight fingers. Just tie that off. And then we're going to just do the up and down thing. But we want this, like these two pinch twists, to be direct center. 
So we're going to do the up and down on either side so that it is centered. So we did the right side, and then we're going to go down the left side. This is perfect. I'm just going to fit this pack into this here. Into this place here. Just to make it a little stronger. So wrap this new pinch twist there, and we're going to come back up those seven fingers. Back down the neck on the right side, and then back up on the left side. Do 